whenever we decide to purchase a new product we obviously want a good quality product right but what exactly determines the product is of good quality or of poor quality customers look at different number of parameters sometimes the combination of parameters to determine the overall quality so this video talks about the eight dimensions of quality from the customer's perspective and we will also look at the ninth dimension that is a safety here so stay tuned the eight dimensions of quality was defined by david a graven who passed away in 2017 at the age of 64 he defined that the quality product is a product that meets the expectations of a customer quality is important when determining the value of service or product customers only determine ultimately whether the product has been of expected quality or not customers want good quality but they also want to know that they are getting good value or not the value isn't just judged by the product or service they are purchasing but by the availability and the usability of the customer services that supports to make it the customer happy sad or indifferent so that is why david proposed this eight dimensions of quality that helps to meet these expectations and these are performance feature reliability conformance durability serviceability aesthetics and perception a product or service could rank high on one dimension of quality and rank low on other dimension of quality so it could be vice versa also and it could be combination of any two parameters as well in addition to this eight dimension given also proposed is safety which could also play a major important role in determining the overall quality and we will look at this one by one in more detail so if you are watching this video for the first time on my youtube channel then please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and please press that bell icon so that you are notified whenever i post a new video on my youtube channel so in this channel i post videos related to six sigma clean manufacturing project management and business management you can also visit my website where i share all my content so the url for my website is this digital elearnings.com the first dimension of quality is performance which means the primary operating characteristic of a product it is one of the leading dimensions of quality and most customer judge the product quality based on performance itself like does its service or product do what it is supposed to do for example if you are purchasing a new television set factors that you will be looking at is the sound picture quality and colors this is what the performance parameter means in case of a television set now let's see if you are buying a car then in this case your performance parameters could be different it could be the acceleration your handling your convenience and ease of driving nobody would like to buy a noisy car so noise factor here is a sign of quality for automobile features are the second dimensions of quality and often regarded as a second aspect of performance features are the characteristics that supports the basic performance of product or service that is the extra stuff that is added to the product basic functionality so we have used uh, two examples one is like buying a automobile or a car so the features that could be here includes airbags cruise control alloy wheels and sunroof the other example that we have taken is the buying a new television so features could include here smart tv the number of hdmi port 4k or 8k video support or screen size separating these features from performance is difficult because drawing a clear line between these two is generally not possible the crucial thing is that the features involved objective and measurable attributes for many customers superior quality means that they are getting large number of features reliability is the third dimension of quality and it's usually the closely related to the performance of a device it is a major contributor to the company's brand image and is considered as a fundamental dimension of quality by most end users the focus of reliability is more on how long the product will perform consistently according to the specification of that particular product so this is important because customer needs product to work without any errors so this dimension of quality is related to the functioning of device that is how likely it is to fail or malfunction during a specific time period for example 15 minutes after you drove your car out of your shop suddenly you will feel that car breaks down 
it could be anything it could be your mirrors fell out your oil is leaking so now the now the car has met the first two dimensions but it has failed to operate properly within the specified expectation of time frame that you have probably have only imagine in your head so that is your reliability the fourth dimension of quality is conformance that is the extent to which the product or service meets the established standards the dimension of a conformance depicts that to what extent a product design and operating characteristic meets the established standards this dimension is closely related to the dimension performance and feature all product and service involves specification of some sort so when products are developed these specifications are set and the target is also defined for instance the material used or the dimension of the particular product so not only the target but also the tolerance that is the range of permitted deviations from the target is defined one problem with this approach is that there is very little interest in whether the specification has been met exactly as long as the tolerance limit are met on other hand this can lead to the so called tolerance stack up that we do for example the defect rate in a factory accuracy and timeliness of the processing customer inquiries the fifth dimension of quality is durability which measures how long the product will perform or last and under what conditions so this dimension of quality is also known as warranty durability measures the length of product life that means estimating the length of product life will become complicated when it is becoming possible to repair a product again and again for such product the durability will be counted until it is no longer economical to use it this will happen when the repair and the cost of repairing will increase customers must then outweigh the cost for future repair against the cost of investing into new one in other case durability is measured by the amount someone can use the product before it stop working and repair is impossible the best example here it would be the best bent brands when they test their phone for bent test and they will have the different durability parameters checklist and they will test each uh, phone on this durability parameters the sixth dimension of quality is serviceability which measures the product relatively easy to maintain and repair that means customer concerns are mainly about product getting defect but they also concern about how long it will take for product to be repaired so this becomes an important parameter for those customers who takes a total cost of ownership as a criteria for selecting a product serviceability which involves the consumer ease of obtaining a repair service example access to the service center ease of self service responsiveness of service professionals and getting a appointment of service easily reliability of a service so this is other some of the parameters from the serviceability factors the seventh dimension of quality is aesthetic that is the way the product look is more important to the end user since the beauty lies in the eyes of beholder the aesthetic preference are subjected to your target user particular taste in other words the product can take number of different aesthetic depending upon the specific customer you are targeting aesthetic reflects how the product look feel sound taste or smell it is clearly a matter of personal judgment and reflection of an individual preference nevertheless they appear to be some pattern in the consumer ranking of product on the basis of taste so what's your take on all these dimensions of quality which of these dimensions do you think is more important to you you can leave your answers in the comment section below let me see which one gets the most vote here and if you have any specific feedback related to this video what you like about this video what you don't like about this video you can leave your answers in the comment section below and is there any specific topic on which you want me to make a video on you can let me know in that comment section below the eighth dimension of quality is perception perception refers to the way the sensory information is organized interpreted and consciously experienced the perception of something is not always reality meaning that the product or service can have high score on each of the seven dimensions of quality but still receive a very bad rating from customer as a result of negative perception from the customer or public 
customers sometimes lack information about the service or product and for company brand we rely directly on the indirect reviews so when you purchase anything from online from amazon from ebay you normally look at the reviews of the feedback section and look at read all the feedbacks and decide your perception on based on that the ninth dimension of quality is safety this dimension is all about the product should be safe to use the assurance that no injury or harm will occur because of using your device so that is your eight or nine dimensions of quality if you like this video don't forget to share this video with all your friends on all the social media platforms